I recently made a video comparing the performance of Unity Dots and Assembly. This is a follow up to that video, so if you want to know about the background and more details about the benchmark problem, check out that video first. Just click the info card in the top right corner. The feedback on that video, at least in the comments, was mostly positive. However, I shared the video on Reddit and there it was a different story. Many were upset that DOTS was not faster than assembly and looked for problems in the comparison, especially in the DOTS implementation. Some people were a bit more constructive in the feedback though, and even made their own improvements to it. We will look at the improved versions and the performance of them later, but first I just want to discuss the two most common points brought up. The first was the use of the MOFF-F library, instead of the units.manematics in some places. In the code the MOFF-F was used for square root and max, and people were saying that it would ruin the optimizations completely. I took a look at the assembly generated and saw that there was nothing bad happening in these cases. It was just translated directly to the sqrtss instruction for the square root and the max function I could not see any trace of. Its logic probably got baked in some other instruction. The second point was the multi-threading usage in the dots version. I had added sync points in between the jobs since that was the only way I found to get the runtime checks off my back. The reasoning was that since there were so many bees to simulate this would not matter too much for the final conclusions in the end. I'll let you be the judge of that after we have looked at the results of the improved versions. So let's take a look at the first improved version. This was made by YNDC as a pull request to the repository and it has since been merged to the main branch. I'll leave a link to the pull request in the description for anyone wanting to look at the details of the changes. In the pull request YNDC made a bullet point list of the changes they made and how it affected the performance. The first change, replacing MathF with Unity.Mathematics, had no effect. Next, reordered systems by the dependencies and redesigned on update code to have no sync points. This had a big effect, and the last thing was removing unnecessary prefab transform hierarchy. This apparently had a surprisingly big effect according to YNDC, and I share the surprise in this one. I would have thought that it is something Unity could optimize for automatically, especially if it has a big effect. So what did this give in performance compared to the original DOTS version? Here are the results. So all in all, it resulted in a 45% increase in performance compared to the original DOTS. So a rather significant one, since it is just about using DOTS better. Still, it is quite a bit slower than the single threaded assembly version, which is about 82% faster than this improved DOTS version. But fear not, there was a second improved version made by Thor White Mountain, which further improved the version made by YNDC. It is made as a fork of the repository, so I'll leave a link to it in the description below. There you can read the full details about the changes and findings they made. I'll just summarize it here. The changes were mostly about reducing the memory used per entity, especially on the position data lookups for the moment speed system and attack system. Also removing some structural changes on the entities through the use of special components, such as iEnableable. These changes resulted in an 81% performance increase compared to the original dots, so a rather big one. However, it is still a bit away from the single threaded assembly version, which is about 46% faster. So the assembly version is still the winner even with the improvements for the DOTS version. But even though it was not needed to beat the improved DOTS versions, I wanted to see how a multi-threaded assembly version would perform, so I made one for this video. The multi-threaded implementation I made is rather simple and a bit naive, since I did not want to spend too much time on it, I just dedicated an afternoon to it. I specified the number of threads for it to use, in the test I have gone with 16, since my CPU is 8 cores with hyperthreading, the main thread I count as the first thread and then create 15 worker threads. Each thread handles a range of Bs, so the first thread will take care of B index 0 to 6249, the second thread B index 6250 to 12499, and so on. This is quite good for the CPU cache usage, since each thread then operates on its own sequential part of the memory for each array. I made sync points before the logic update and after the last logic function. This was to keep it simple even though it's not the most optimal way. For example, it means that the code that calls on DirectX for the rendering and the code that transfers the data to the GPU is not run in parallel with the logic code. In fact, all the worker threads will have to wait for that part before starting their work for the frame. This could be improved by double buffering the data that gets sent to the GPU to allow everything to run in parallel. But for now, the simple version will have to do. Maybe I'll make the more optimized version in another video. As I mentioned, I ran the test on 16 threads. I did some tests with different thread counts and started to see rather diminishing returns already after 8 threads. 8 threads was almost as fast as 16 threads. This is mostly due to the benchmark becoming GPU bottlenecked on my system at these speeds. I could confirm it by running the benchmark without rendering, which saw a bit larger increase in performance when increasing the thread count above 8, 
even if not linear. It could also partly depend on there being just 8 physical cores on the CPU, and since each thread is doing the same type of work, the cores might be rather well filled already when running just 8 threads. Let's look at some numbers. The multi-threaded assembly version is about 393% faster than the single-threaded one. And it is about 572% faster than the improved DOTS version. I also ran some tests on different B counts for the different versions. Mainly because Thor White Mountain found that the time spent per B in the moment system and the attack system did not scale linearly with the B count. It seemed to increase as the B count increased. So here are the results from the tests. At 1 KBs, the overhead in the application rules, since there is not that much work needed. Due to the overhead being very low in the assembly version, especially in the single thread one, it wins greatly over unit dots. The overhead of the sync points for the multiple threads seem to be larger than the actual work in this case, so the multi-threaded assembly version is actually slower than the single threaded version. The unit dots version is much slower than the assembly versions at this B count. Probably due to the overhead of unity in general, and maybe partly due to thread syncing. But this does not really matter at all in practice, since even Unity is running at around 1300 FPS in this test, and there is no game that needs that kind of update rate anyways. At 10 KBs, the work is still probably not enough to outshine the overhead. The multi-threaded assembly is faster than the single-threaded one here, but just barely. So the syncing overhead of the multi-threading is still quite large here compared to the actual work, at least for the assembly version, but maybe for the Unity dots as well. At 50k and 100k, it seems to be a magic spot where the overhead is not that large compared to the actual work. 100k is the number I used in the previous tests, and I did choose that to have enough work for the benchmark to do, while still being fast enough for the slower Unity versions to be able to run at an interactive frame rate. Here, the Unity Dots is the closest to the assembly versions. At 50kbs, the Unity Dots is at its closest to the multi threaded assembly version. Below or above that, the multi threaded assembly version increases its lead. The same goes for the single-threaded assembly versus unity dots, but at 100 kbs. Lastly, at 500 kbs, we see the scaling problem in the unity dots solution. It probably scales worse in memory usage than the assembly versions, since I think it still uses more memory per entity than the assembly versions do, even after the improvements. Maybe some more of that could be shaved off, but I think most of the difference that is left is due to Unity's ECS framework just needing some more memory, since it is a general solution. So to summarize, there definitely was some extra performance left on the table for the DOTS version. It can probably be improved even further, since that is almost always the case, but so could the assembly version. The single-threaded assembly version is still significantly faster than the Unity DOTS version, and the multi-threaded assembly version is even faster. And remember, this is one specific benchmark, and there are of course a lot of other things that you get with Unity that probably would make up for the performance difference in most projects. But when it comes to creating solutions for a large number of entities, it seems that you will be able to push the numbers higher with a custom solution made in for example assembly than you would with Unity Dots. I'm hoping to make this a series where I do this benchmark and compare the performance between assembly and other languages in game engines or frameworks. So if you want to see more of that, consider supporting the channel by subscribing. And also check out my games on Steam, since that is what really will enable me to keep making videos like these. And don't forget that C-Sharp is a script language.